one. Well, hi everyone. I am uh, Telia One, and I'm gonna be running some Demolition Man today. It's a Super Nintendo game based off the movie Demolition Man. We're playing Craze Percent, which is just this game's way of saying normal. We have Colm, Craze, and Total Demolition. So Crazed is just the normal difficulty play all 10 levels, see the ending. Uh, I am joined today by two of my really good friends and I'll go ahead and uh, let them introduce themselves. Hey guys, I'm DNK Lionias. I have recently started running this game. I uh, actually just got uh, second place behind Telio in Crazed Percent. Uh, and uh, been learning a lot uh, about this game from, uh, from Telio and my, uh, my compadre right over here. What's up everyone? My name is Imagine303. Uh, Telio and I have been building this game for the last couple years, and we're really excited to showcase it for you today. Yeah, it's uh, it's going to be really fun. Uh, guys, uh, I'm totally ready if one of you guys would like to count me in. Sure. Uh, we'll do it on uh, three. Ready? Three, yep. two, one, go. All right, here we go. We start in the past in 1996. We play as John Spartan, the very ruthless uh, cop who is the only person that can bring down Simon Phoenix, the, wor the 21st century's most ruthless criminal. Oh. What you're gonna see here is uh, a lot of basically force jumps and jumping to accelerate through the map. That's gonna be our fastest way of navigating through here. You're also gonna see a really jittery motion on ladders and we basically spam our climb button or our shoot button to push us up the ladders faster. Yeah, that's right. For some reason, whenever you spam your attack button, uh, you can just climb a little faster. It's really nice. Sometimes you do waste bullets, uh, so you have to be really conscious on your inputs there to make sure you're not actually firing the gun while spamming the button. Right, uh, sometimes you can drop a, enemies can drop a pistol or a shotgun upgrade, which you'll see in the top left screen, which will just let you, uh, allow you to one-shot enemies that have armor and, uh, pretty much every enemy in the game. And now that we, uh, have taken him down, we're in the future. So this is the point of the run, guys, where, uh, it's early in the morning here in the U.S., so we're gonna ask you to just sit back and be well. We are in, well. uh, we are in the museum right now we are going to be collecting some uh, some scientists we're collecting them sticking them in our back pocket we got 15 scientists that we have to get uh throughout this uh, throughout this level to open up a fight later with uh with simon phoenix um it's a little bit strange you'll notice that a few of these guys tell you literally has to climb on top of to be able to register the uh the hitbox and other guys you can just kind of stand a few feet away give them like the finger guns point at him and be like hey guys you're doing yeah, great yeah. It's, it's a little strange, a little bit jank, but, you know, you, you learn the, uh, the positions of it well. Um, and then uh, there, there is a bit. Imagine, why don't you, why don't you talk about, like, the despawning of, of some sprites as well? Yeah, and really, depending on how fast or slow you go in the game, sometimes you will despawn the scientists. And if you don't collect them, you can't proceed through the level. So if they're despawned and you don't remember picking them up, you basically are going to have to run around the map to figure out where you lost your, your scientist. I had a few, uh, yeah, just the other day I was running, I had a few that were doing that, and I was thinking, oh man, i got to really remember what my routing is, otherwise I'm going to be yeah. <laughs> running around this level for 15 minutes. <laughs> exactly. The, the, first, the first few times I played this casually, uh, I imagine, luckily, was uh, hanging out and watching me, um, and the first two times i don't know they despawned and i had no idea how to beat the level and he's like oh yeah they're they're just despawned and i'm okay <laughs> it, was, it was nice <clears throat> yeah so coming up here we we take a specific route uh to to open up these windows you notice some of these windows have health in them this one coming up here has a shotgun and i really want this shotgun upgrade for the boss fight because it has a chance to do uh triple damage like just very strangely hit him like three or four times so we'll see if we get some good luck and have that happen uh simon can either go up or down i'm going to try to read which direction he goes and try to stun lock him with some grenades that was a not a good throw there yeah he dodged your grenade like mad. yeah it basically allows us to just do damage while remaining safe from his gun oh that was nice that was a good nice fight. nice finish to the fight some the first grenade missed but nice finish to the fight yeah, yeah. streets um, basically we're going to be scaling platforms here and you're going to see our, our run jumps uh, that we do oh so often in this level. Um, we do clip through some of the floors. You can see it's just the weird grab positions. It's kind of interesting. 
Yeah, there's actually a new a new thing that uh, I found uh, on accident about a week ago of, on this fight. I got hit twice there. Ah, I'm fine. Uh, there's a... Oh, okay, I might die. Uh, yeah. Oh! Oh! <laughs> sniped in the middle. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was a good shot there. Um, so when you jump into this fight, for some reason, if you uh, do it correctly, you can get an extra hit here. Oh, nice, I got it. Oh, man! Uh, that saves about four to five seconds because it skips an entire cycle of him leaving the screen, so that's really nice. So it kind of made it for the death there. That was a really nice fight. Really nice fight. Yeah. Oh, we're on Monorail! Oh, All wow. right. <laughs> so we were so you guys talking are about this some earlier. Demolition Man randomizer every single time. We, none of us really know how or why it works, but levels, what is it, four through six can, can basically show order. up in any order. So here we're going to wait for the stop sign. And there it is, we're gonna get hit, we're gonna run across the top and uh, do a damage boost through this guy right here to clip through those, perfect. And now we're gonna try some uh, Monka Marathon jumps and see if we can get it. I, I said I was gonna try it once. Oh, that's okay. All right, I'll do the safe route. <laughs> those lasers will one-shot, yeah. Yeah, there's a real tight... Almost, you have to be almost perfect, pixel perfect. It's uh, very to close, jump, yeah. jump through all three sections of the lasers. You're going to see here in the first top two. And we'll wait there. But yeah, so You're further on the, okay. the randomizer thing, um, for some reason this game just likes to put four through six in any order, and we don't know why. Because <laughs> this is yeah. normally uh, level level six, correct? This is normally level, f uh, level five. five. Yeah. Five. Uh, yeah. So now we're going to go backwards to level four, and then we're going to go to level six. six. <laughs> yeah. So it doesn't, like, affect the speedrun at all, because you do have to play all the levels, and nothing really changes, but it's just a really weird uh, little thing about this game. So when you're setting up your life splits, just put four through six and make that one split. One single split. Because yeah. <laughs> you never know what's going to happen. Never know. Yeah, I, have, I actually have yet to see that in any of my runs i've been i've been pretty lucky. i know it's, it's, so, all, it's it, all been going it, four through six it feels like it's strange to me but i'm i'm playing on uh the a cartridge that was sent to me by imagine here uh so i mean hey it's it's your cart man you, you tell yeah. me the, the voodoo that you put on it uh, uh no, no comment <laughs> uh, I'm trying, so yeah, I'm trying to keep my records man come on nice jump <laughs> So here, yeah, this is Auto Park. We uh, we're climbing up, climbing up, uh, climbing up these wall. Gonna dodge that bullet here, and we're gonna try to do a glitch, uh, glitch kill here. Uh, yeah. That Imagine found. Yeah. So basically, the way it works is we're gonna throw two nades over here, and we're gonna get the health down super low. And as long as you run underneath this boss, he actually gets stuck and doesn't go anywhere. Normally, he's supposed to pan left to right on the screen. And normally we basically like <laughs> yeah we kind of force him to not do that it yeah, becomes and, uh, a rough fight if you don't get that glitch it's it's it, it, it one it one shots you uh oh yeah and now if uh, if there's any donations now would be a really good time this is very similar to level two we're just going to collect all the enemy all the uh, hostages and move on our way so if there's any donations please feel free absolutely we've got plenty mod 366 donated 25 dollars and said hey all mod here Thanks again for having me and for watching. Nine blocks and one death would equate to $23, but let's round that up to 25. That sounds way nicer. Good luck to Talio one on Demolition Man and all the other runners that are still to come. And to everyone watching, have fun with the rest of the marathon and keep donating to this amazing cause. Thanks, Mod. Thank you. And we have $10 from Lux Stein. It says, Mellow greetings to Leo one Let's take cancer and shovel it. Put this towards Super Mario 64 blindfolded 16 star. Ooh, nice. Thanks, Lux. Thanks, Lux. We also have an anonymous $250 donation that simply reads, Heart. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Love it. I think you got time for a few more. Oh, sure thing. We have $50 from Limp007 that reads, This donation is for the fantastic run from Mod. You did great, man. Well. All right, so that was the right, right same as level two. 
Uh, same as the museum. We just got the library, got some scientists, and uh, we got out of there. Now so. we are going to play The Floor Is Not Real. <laughs> this is probably one of the funnest levels I've ever routed. We're only going to see probably, I don't know, what, 5 or 10% of the level. Uh, we're going to basically drop through all of it. And there's two routes that we that you can take, and they're very similar. I take a different route than Telio does, but for the most part, they're almost identical. They're they're about the same. Yeah. It's really interesting. Uh, the first time that I had ever seen uh, Telio or Imagine run this, and watching them get through this stage, you think, how in the world does someone you know know where to fall, where to jump, and all this? But honestly, these guys have worked it out so well that. Uh, 10 minutes with, with this level, 10 minutes with the uh, wonderful YouTube tutorial on uh, oh Tell You One YouTube. And you will, like, you'll be a pro at this. It's, it takes no time at all to learn how to fall through all this entire stage. I feel like uh, this, we're, this we're level... Done. Yeah, I feel like this level is the only reason why you should play this game. Because this level <laughs> it's is a lot of fun. fun. It's, it's fun. a lot of fun. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, so here we are. It's already over. We're at uh, into level eight now. So there's uh, two sequence breaks in this level. Uh, the first. Uh, that is not uh, one. That's not one of them. <laughs> <laughs> so um, there's two sequence breaks here. The first one was one that Imagine found that saves a significant amount of time, about 15 seconds. And there's another one where uh, that I found that skips a bungee jump. Uh, they're super quick into this level. Uh, the game wants you to go to the once i get up here the game wants you to go to the right and climb around and, and climb up and hit a bunch of other enemies but if you just boot scoot to the left right here you save about 15 seconds it's a really nice uh jump right there the second one is going to be coming up right here where there's a bungee cord that you're going to see on the right we're just going to jump right over it hopefully like that and that saves another uh, about 15 seconds in the run the screen is going to go black for a moment because if you take the intention route uh, you're supposed to go to the bottom and talk and phoenix like shoots out the lights and you get night vision goggles but that's all nonsense we don't we don't want to do that uh, and it go makes fast. this level extremely quick and we're already done with it yeah, yeah. you can actually soft flock on that final section of, of level two, so future runners beware. I did actually find a way to fix that soft lock, by the way. Oh, did you? Yeah, it's just, you just have to go back to the bottom and grab the ledge. It's very strange. It's, it's really weird. You just have huh. to kind of reset it, basically. But I did find a way to get around it. So it's a, a nice minor headache that gets uh, eliminated. <clears throat> Let's see if we get so now we're playing strat. Mario, guys. Now we're Doing. playing Mario. We're going down the piping. Oh, we didn't have to kick our guy. That's all right. But we had a really yeah, nice. That's a brand new uh, little that's trick another found there, isn't accidental it? strat. Yeah. Dude. Just just jump yep. through this. Just jump through the steam, man. Jump through the <laughs> steam vent and you get down way faster as long as you catch that yep. ledge. If you don't catch that ledge, it's uh, you die. Not good. It's, <laughs> it's no. It's no good. Normally we take the bungee and we basically bounce off a guy that's there and it kind of puts us in a path that we're supposed to go down but since he despawned we could avoid that and it saves us time Ooh, nice. we are I already almost this, yeah. yeah we are already almost in the last level here uh so we're cruising i'm not sure where my time is but it feels like a pretty decent one here uh this is gonna be the last level in the cryo prison uh, two phase final boss uh, fight. Yeah, guys. Let's go quick. So we're hoping to see a shotgun right here. Uh, and then, uh, no, no shotgun. But Telly is going to take this weapon all the way to the end. Uh, try not to kill anybody to save the bullets because these these guns, the pistol and the shotgun, are both um, overpowered over his base weapon. So the, the less bullets we use, the more that we'll have at the end boss and it'll make it go a lot faster. Yeah, it's, it's worth it to hold on to your bullets here. Am I gonna die? Nope. All Ooh. right. That's and double right. health. Perfect. Nice. All right, so two grenades here. We're gonna throw one, shoot a few shots, throw another one. Oh, okay. Ooh. I kind of messed that up. That's all right. We're gonna wait for the for the grenades here. Jump across. We need to we need to freeze Phoenix, and then uh, shoot him up here, and this should do it. And oh, it's gorgeous. Very nice Beautiful. end fight there. Uh, time isn't going to be until not the next screen, but the next screen. You guys can say time. It's going to be at about 15 seconds. But first, we have to enjoy the best three frames of gaming. Oh, this is going to be great, guys. <laughs> One, two, two three. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> and time, time. There it is. Nice. Well done. Well done. Beautiful run. Guys, if you have anything to say, please feel free.
So uh, thank you very much, first of all, Telio, for uh, having me on commentary. It's been a joy. Thank you for uh, basically pushing and guilting me into learning how to run this game. Uh, <laughs> it, it has been a lot of fun. It's, it, is, it is a run that takes some getting used to because it's, it's a little bit difficult to, to control. But when you get to know the ins and outs of the game and you, and you watch that tutorial, again, on the Telio One YouTube channel, then you will... Uh, guys, you can get a 15 minute time easy. It's it's really no big deal. And uh, between Telio and Imagine, the routing is great. And uh, just again, thank you guys and hope you enjoyed what you saw. Imagine. Uh, thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. I know we talked about running this at GDQ for the last couple of years. So it's 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 great to see that we finally got it here. Uh, other than that, I'm, I'm stoked. I'm super stoked. Go for it, Telio. Uh, all I have to say is thank you guys so much. Uh, I just want to shout out my wife, uh, who has uh, supported me for the last uh, speedrun journey. I love her very much. And uh, thank you guys, everyone, for letting us have this opportunity. Everyone, please be well. That's going to be it for us, guys. Thank you so much. Be well. Congratulations to Telio on a great Demolition Man run. Let's be honest, that's the fastest anyone's traveled through Southern California in quite a long time. We have quite a few donations coming in, so let's start plowing through them right now. From Lunukar, we have $25.00. Their donation reads, thanks to everyone involved in making awesome games and doing them quick. We have $5 from Sean. They say, howdy to Leo. Glad to see you back on that GDQ stage. Break a leg. Tiny cam stream hype. And we have $25 from Steve TV online. This is for the Whipsy Blocks and one death is promised during Mod's run. Let's keep breaking records for this amazing charity and also get that 16 star blindfolded run incentive met. There's plenty of more GDQ coming up after a message from Twitch. And welcome back to AGDQ, Awesome Games Done Quick 2021 Online. We have plenty more donations coming in. 
from PDT 1060, we have $25, and they said, I like inertia and drifting and more speed running. So let's get an incentive met. From Professor Shinobi, we have $20, and they say, to Talil One, the best demolition man, do well and be well. Donation goes to runner's choice. And from Unclear, we have $25. Their donation reads, Bird up! Put this towards announcer's choice. Good luck, Michael. Thank you, Unclear. And we got $50 from the Lupine one. Hey, GDQ. Great to see another virtual event, and I'm really enjoying the virtual crowd. I feel like I've been invited into Velocity's prehistoric paradise. Put the money towards the Super Mario 64 blindfold bonus run. And just as a reminder, we are still working towards a few incentives here. First off, we've got the Snow Mountain Sprint in Inertial Drift coming up. That has a goal of $3,500. We are currently just over $2,200 for this, for this incentive. Excuse me. So please donate if you want to see that mountain, snow mountain sprint do a one. And of course, we also have the tuxedo playthrough of Metal Gear Solid The Twin Snakes as well. That, in that incentive goal is $10,000, and we are just above 3000 at the moment. Meeting this goal, we'll have Snake bring the Twin Snakes in style by wearing a tuxedo. In addition, Meryl will wear a sneaking suit, and Cyborg Ninja will have new colors as well. All right, and with that, we are ready for Carl Germ to take it over with Night in the Woods, Demon Tower, any percent. <laughs> 